Hello, I am Dr. Bala Subramanian Tyagarajan. Today, we are going to discuss the integrated Google Meet within the Google Classroom. Now, teachers are commonly using Google Classroom to deliver the class content to the students. Now, online classes, lecture classes can be delivered via Google Meet. So, Google has managed to integrate a Google Meet within the Google Classroom. This is actually a test classroom which I have created in order to deliver knowledge to the potential teachers and teachers who are enthusiastic enough to use Google Classroom as a teaching tool. Now, as soon as the classroom is opened as logged in teach when the teacher logs into the classroom this is the screen which the teacher will be presented this is actually the stream let us click the next tab it's called the classwork so inside this classwork screen you get the google meet now you see the uh, video camera icon and next to it is written as a google meet now we will open the google meet now this is a google meet which uh, will be presented to the teacher and the teacher can schedule classes inside Google Meet. Now, before getting on to delivering lectures on Google Meet, the teacher should schedule a class and the teacher also should send out a link to the student so that they can join. For scheduling a class, the teacher needs to schedule a class inside Google Calendar. So every Google Classroom has got a calendar. So now, in order to create a online lecture program, so we will just say today we will have a lecture say around 5:30. So we will click here. What we will do is we will click here and add a title: test lecture. This is actually Google calendar so now we are going to find a time the time is going to be between 5:30 and 6:30 and and it is going to be held today i am going to save the test lecture so having saved the test lecture so i have created the test lecture and now I need to save it. It is there. Now I need to get the link. So now here add Google Meet video conferencing. That needs to be clicked. Here it gives out the link. It also says that this class can take up to 250 participants. If it is going to be a personal Google ID, the number of participants or people who can attend the meeting will be pruned to 100. So since, since it's a G Suite basic version, it is permitting up to 250 participants. This is supposed to be the link which can be copied and pasted to the browser so that the student can log into the meeting. The student can also use the mobile phone. If this number is given out, the student can dial this mobile number and can listen to the lecture, can interact to the uh, audio of the Google Meet. Now, if you want to accommodate more than 250 participants, you can add a live stream. So before you want, you can add a live stream. First thing we will save this uh, lecture. What we will do is we will copy, duplicate the same meeting and then we will see we are going to add live stream to the meeting so now i have created a live stream as well as i have created a google meet so meet can be joined actively by 250 participants and live stream can go up to thousand so this is, you can give out if the student wants to view the lecture by live stream they can view the lecture but they can be they cannot interact live with the teacher they can 
give out their questions or comments in the chat box here if this link is given out to the student so naturally the student can use this link to join the google meet so a small description of the meeting can be typed here small description of the meeting can be typed here if the teacher wants to deliver some file to the students say some text material reading material to the student the add attachment icon can be clicked and the attachment can be submitted from the google drive or you can upload the document select a file from the device and say for example uh, we will see scribus aids yeah so we are attaching the file uploading the file so what happens the file gets uploaded and you will be seeing here this will be shown as the attachment to the student student can download the same file from the uh, google meet window so now here manually you can add guests i can you can add your students manually by clicking here and then you can save here so now what happens is this lecture will be this is actually the calendar which is created for this classroom so this calendar the, the students who are enrolled in this cla classroom will automatically get a notification about the class so what we will do is we will try to join the google meet and see what happens so now it says there's no one here since it's a test meet here i have not switched on the camera so it says camera fail if you just click here the camera if i am at if i have attached a camera it will be seen and then here this toggle can switch on or switch off the microphone so you see three vertical dots here on clicking here you can add a in house live stream so in house live stream indicates that students who have registered within the classroom will be able to view this live stream when the link is given out and then you can turn on the captions if you turn on the captions whatever teacher says will be typed on the screen then the most important thing you should do is to go to the settings so this setting helps to test your devices for example here you see the microphone as i talk it keeps going up and down so that my mic is working well supposing i want to test my speaker on clicking this test i should be able to hear the telephone ring sound in my headset or in my speaker and mind you what the most important thing you should remember is you should use the same device as the microphone as well as the speaker if you are going to use two different devices one as a microphone the other one as a speaker there is likely to be a feedback and there is there will be a irritating hum which will be heard into the mic of into the speakers of all the guests so now on clicking the video here it gives out the various cameras that your system has got attached to so you can choose the video and then here the standard definition is 360p since we are going to send out a recording so we can plan a recording of the entire session when you i will show you how to enable the recording as soon as you enable the recording what happens is the record the entire google meet recording will be saved to your google drive so you ensure that the send resolution as well as the receive resolution is maximum that is 720p so this 720p maximum resolution will ensure that the video of the meeting when you pushed across to youtube or when you circulated to the students again who have not attended the class they'll be able to view it in a comfortably good resolution so we have completed the setting part now what we will do is i will click the join now by clicking joining now it says see the name of the lecture is given out here the test lecture which we have which we have say, which you have named in the google calendar which you have scheduled in the calendar that name you can it's visible here you see my cursor then on clicking the arrow what happens it gives us the details so here if you want to send out the joining uh, invite to the student even now you can copy the joining info and send the joining uh, invite to the students and if the student wants to join the meeting using a mobile number the student will have to use the mobile uh, phone numbers and if you want you can even increase the uh, number of phone numbers which you see here these are the extra numbers are given you can 
pass it on and then they can join the meeting by giving out this pin this pin is nothing but a password to join the meeting and then attachments so your attachments if you have attached a file the attachment attached file will be shown here here you see a mic here if you want to cut the mic if you want to uh, no if you want your students not to hear something which you say you can mute your mic by clicking here the mic will be muted and then by clicking again it will be unmuted and this uh, uh, telephone receiver if you click the meeting ends you hang up and uh, stop the meeting and then here you can enable and disable the webcam or video cam by clicking on this turn on camera on turn off camera this is actually a toggle switch and then turn on captions if you turn on captions what happens is whatever i see whatever i speak it will be visible on the screen now you are seeing my words appearing as text isn't it so this is actually will be helpful for persons who may have some problem with the audio device or who are not able to hear the voice loud and clear or if there is any problem with their hearing turning on these uh, captions will help them to follow the meeting then here this present now so if you present click this button you become the presenter so the presenter has takes total control of the screen so when you click the present now you will be given the option of presenting your entire screen or you can present a window or you can present a browser chrome browser tab so all these three things are possible so you can say if you want to present your entire window if, if you want to have if you have a powerpoint presentation which is in a full screen mode you just click the entire screen and show the presentation the presentation will be totally visible to the audience and they'll be able to hear you speak with the presentation supposing you want to show or share your window alone you can share the window supposing you want to share the chrome tab alone you can show uh, share the chrome tab so this is actually the present now screen let us see the moment i show the click the present now screen it gives me the option it asks me what i want to share this is the screen if i say share share it will start sharing now my screen i am in the presentation mode it tells me i am going into the presentation mode and everyone will, who is attending the meeting who joined the meeting will be able to uh, share the screen now you see there are two people who have joined the uh, meeting so the uh, screen is visible and now here the it tells you this icon tells you the number of people who have joined the meeting and then if you click stop sharing i come out of the presentation mode so now i am seeing only the uh, people who have joined now here by clicking the chat icon i can type a message which everyone can see so that is it on type just type and send a message or so i will say just welcome and then click the send message the message gets posted here and then people here supposing you want to show the people here in the center of the screen that can be done and now there are some more settings which you should be familiar so i'll do it again there are three vertical dots here which shows more options i'll just click here on clicking this i can record the meeting as i told you at the start of the lecture that on clicking this record meeting the entire meeting will be recorded into your google drive you can as soon as the recording is over you will receive a email to your email id that the recording is available for viewing so you can go ahead to a google drive and retrieve the recording play or send it across to the students who have not attended the lecture the next uh, menu is changing the layout so you can change the layout i have now placed it in auto you can say this is actually the auto you have a sidebar this is actually a sidebar which will show the uh, people who are already logged into the meeting and uh, invariably this order in which they are arranged will be at the order of the logging and suppose the person who is logged in first will be shown first the person who is logged in last will be logged in last and then here if there are more number if you want to see if you are interested in seeing more number of people on the screen you can use the tiled uh, layout or if you want to see only one person if you want to pin one person use the spotlight here 
when you use a spotlight you can ensure that only one person is visible in the center of the screen that is as far as the layout settings goes and then you can click this full screen and view the entire presentation full screen and this turn on captions i have already told you and then you can use a telephone for an audio and then if there is a problem with the uh, google meet per se if you get across any hitches you can always report and if you are not happy with the people who are conducting the meeting you can always report the high abuse all these things are possible and then if you want help you just click the help and it will take you to the google helpline so this is as far as the google meet is concerned and the google meet let me tell you is tightly integrated to the google classroom so from the classroom you can schedule a google meet schedule a class inside the google meet and you can send invite to the students by uh, creating a calendar cre creating a uh, what do you call uh, a lecture schedule in the calendar and you can uh, send it across to the students so here the, what about the persons who are outside the class you can also invite persons who are uh, not uh, the members inside the classroom you can send invite mails you can email guests so by just clicking the email you can email guests so that the guest also can be permitted to log in and listen to your lecture so inside the calendar here you have a <coughs> email guest uh, icon you can send the email to the guest and then you can delete the event if you want and then you can edit the event by clicking this uh, pencil you can edit the uh, event which you have created and then you can here this this is very important i need to stress here you have three vertical dots inside the calendar you can duplicate the event you copy to auto learning algae copy so if you copy these are all calendars so auto learning algae is one class which has a calendar Autology is another classroom which is under the center G suit and then Rhinology is another class and then workshop is another class. What I will do is I can copy this event to any of these calendars. For example, I will copy this to the Autology calendar and if I click the members or students who are there using the Autology calendar will also be notified. So if you have more than one class within your classroom and if you want the students who have logged in or students who are members of these various classes to attend to the google meet or lecture program hosted in google meet you can always use this feature i repeat again click there go click these three vertical dots copy to your class and then there is something called publish the event so what what exactly you mean by publishing event you can publish the event when you click it it gives out a html code supposing you can use this code on a web page so if you use this code as a web page it will create a banner a small banner uh, informing the uh, viewer of the website uh, about the details of the meeting login credentials everything will be found inside this code or you can copy this link and send it across to send it across to the potential uh, participants either by whatsapp or by email so here you see this when you send out this invite the invite will contain the following details one is the link to join the meeting the link to live stream the link the phone number as well as the pin code if the user prefers to join by phone and then it also will give you yeah the attachment which uh, we have attached just the material which we want to hand out to the participants so that also will be given here here you here this is actually a notification you can set this notification to inform the participants say about 10 minutes before the meeting they should be notified then what happens is they will get a mail and they will get a sms informing them that the meeting is about to start so this this that is all for today today we have seen as a recap today we have seen how to schedule a class using google meet from within your classroom and how to use this meeting scheduling feature in the google calendar which is actually integrated to that of the google classroom thank you very much